Okay, first a few clarifying points. Uh, there's only one line drawn on this graph that matters. That's the one here labeled standard curve. It's going to be labeled as your standard curve and usually starts here at the origin where you have 0, 0 marked here. Okay, so that's the one we're going to be using and taking our numbers from. Along here on both of these axes, you'll num notice that there are hash marks in between each of the numbered segments. We can assume that those are the same distance between each other because these are consistent distances. So there are 10 marks between here, here between 0 and 0.1, meaning that each one of these is 0.01 molarity. There are three, it looks like, between each of these, meaning that each one of these is one-third of 0.2 absorbance units, not confusing at all. So we'll look at these here in detail. So given that there's an absorbance of 0.4, we go here on the graph to 0.4 and go over here until we hit the standard curve and then come down. This is seven marks over from the left, meaning that it is 0.07 because it's seven-tenths of 0.1. If our absorbance is 0.7, we go up here, find 0.7, which is halfway between these two, go over on the standard curve, hit it here, go down. That is two and a half hash marks past 0.1, meaning that it is 0.125. If our molarity is 0.2, we go to 0.2 here, follow it up to the curve where it hits, and then follow over to the side. That's about halfway between 1.0 and 1.2, so we can mark it as 1.1. And if our molarity is 0.025, that is 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.025, go up here till it hits and over, and that gives us an absorbance of 0.1. So remember that uh, there's only one curve, that, only one line on here that's drawn that matters. I'm not sure why these, these were given here as an example. And then each of the marks between each of the numbers are the same distance. So if there are 10, you divide this number by 10. There are three here, so you would divide it each by three. But that's how you would read this curve. 